Hello folks, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the pretty little market town of Krakow. Uh, Krakow is located in the Brecon Beacons. Uh, more pertinently, it's really the, um, the Black Mountains at Eastern End. And the last time I was here was about 25 years ago with the uh, then future Mrs. Campin astronomer. I remember stopping there and getting a cup of coffee in uh, the little inn stroke hotel there. Uh, we'd been up to uh, Brecon to go up Penny Van, if I remember correctly. So it's quite a long time since I've been here. And the first time I came here was to go up a hill called Table Mountain and on, to, on behind that to a, a, a higher hill called Pen Kerrig Calc. Uh, Table Mountain's about 400 metres, if I remember rightly, and Pen Kerrig Calc's just over 700. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get cracking. My name's John and I make videos on camping, walking and astronomy. If you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there. But in the meantime, let's crack on with this video. You can see Table Mountain up there. with its very distinctive flat top. And then over there is the ridge that I've got to get up to. And uh, Pen Kerry Calc's kind of behind that ridge somewhere. If I remember correctly from the first time I was here, uh, it's quite a steep slog coming up to get to the top of Table Mountain. It's even quite a an uphill slog getting out of Krakow. You have to walk up this fairly steep road. So there's uh, not much easing yourself in. But yeah, I uh, expect it to take maybe an hour, perhaps an hour and a half with filming and stuff to get to Table Mountain. And then probably another hour or so to get to my high point of the day. It's quite mild today. It's about 14, 15 degrees down in Krakow. I imagine the top's gonna be maybe eight degrees, something like that, given the altitude increase. There's no real wind to speak of, so there shouldn't be much in the way of wind chill. It is, uh, Keep spitting and spotting with rain, sun coming out, raining, sun coming out, raining. I don't really want to put my waterproof on, on the ground that I'll boil in the bag. Uh, but I've got a little wind shirt on instead. It's not particularly waterproof, but it just stops my main layers getting a bit damp. But I think uh, if this walk gets a uh, steep like I expect it to in the early stages, I think the wind shirt's going to be coming off. Yeah, it's uh, plodding up through this field that I remember is the hard bit. But, um, it's surprising how you remember stuff from 25, 30 years ago. Nice views down there into the valley though. Hello moo cows. All sitting down bar one, I hope that's not bad news as regards rain later. There's the top of uh, Table Mountain behind me there. Um, it's quite well signposted actually up to here. I think uh, it wasn't so sort of 25, 30 years ago, but I reckon this is probably a real popular walk on a weekend, taking an hour, an hour and a half, something like that. But uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when uh, I get to the top and we'll have a little look round. So here we are, this is the summit of uh, Table Mountain. Uh, it's a lot windier here, so I've now got my wind shirt back on again. And behind me, over there, it's looking a little bit dark and cloudy, so it might be that my waterproof will have to come on later. 
Um, but anyway, it's a really nice view. Just over there is uh, Sugarloaf, looking very nice. And below me over there, is, down there, is, uh, is Krakow. But um, I'd better take a bearing to set where we're going since it looks a little bit cloudy and murky behind me. I think it's fairly featureless from here on in, so you do really want a bearing to follow. Um, and yeah, it's like behind me is my route from here on in, I think. So uh, I'll get packed up and get, get cracking on. About another hour, I reckon. It's taken me an hour and ten to get here. So uh, that's not too bad. It's not your song to sing no more goodbye blame Weights can't lift you up But you can find a way to drop them I think uh, Table Mountain there was an Iron Age hill fort at one time. You can just about see like the ramparts there. Uh, you would have had a really good commanding position. Anyway, for me, I'm heading off up there. I think once I get to the ridge line, I'm about halfway to the summit of Pencarry Cow. Well, sure enough, it's uh, started to rain. I can see sort of showers floating in the air. So I'm fully Gore-Texed up now. And I think I may as well just leave this all on now. Um, I've got my waterproof trousers on as well. To, uh, I think it's going to be one of those days when it's uh, showering and stopping and showering and stopping. But because uh, now I'm all dressed up like this, it's looking bright again in front of me. But there we go. Onwards and upwards. Luckily for me, because I've been here before, albeit a long, long time ago, I remember this cairn over here. And you can see it for quite a long way coming up to it. And uh, if you didn't know, you'd think you were getting close to the summit. Uh, in actual fact, you're not. I've got a little bit of a way to go yet. However, up there, I think it's the top of the ascent and I more or less reached the ridge. So the climbing's pretty well done. So here we are at the trig point. It's um, 701 metres. So uh, I think the ascent from the car park in Krakow is probably 620 meters something like that uh, yeah the view here is absolutely amazing the uh, of course it stopped raining now the minute I put all my Gore-Tex on it stopped um, but yeah so the view is really really nice uh, you can see Penny Van and Corn Do and Cribbin and Vanny Big and all that sort of thing uh, really clearly so uh, yeah once the showers get out the way uh, you get quite a nice view behind me is a big cairn that I think is a shelter if I remember rightly I'm sure I sat in it so I'm going to go in that in a minute and get out the wind and uh, have a spot of lunch Can you feel the wind? So you do it's how it all begins then comes reason then purpose well, I've been just taking my waterproofs off. It's just started to spit again now, but I'm not going to put them on. I think I'm going to try and get cracking and make a quick exit back to the car. I reckon it might take me an hour and a half to two hours to get back down again. Um, yeah, but it's been a very nice walk. I would have liked to have made a circle out of it and gone further, but uh, <clears throat> I have to get back to the car to get back home. I've got an early start at work tomorrow. It is possible to do a, a long horseshoe walk. Uh, you carry on along this ridge and then it uh, eventually turns into a horseshoe and comes back down another ridge over there. Uh, but that's a really long walk. I did it once years ago. It's about 20 miles. So you really need to be staying up here to be doing that kind of thing. So uh, anyway, I've had a sausage roll and a bit of coffee. So I'm going to get cracking back to the car. It all begins, then comes reason, then purpose. You will find your way In the meantime May the sun bless you with its rays It's how we learn It has to hurt, it has to hurt Every single turn Don't beg your pardon 
You're not someone's victim. It has to hurt. It has to hurt. So I'm back in Krakow now. Uh, took me about four and a half hours. Uh, I reckon it's about 10k, maybe 11, with about 600 metres of um, ascent, 600 metres descent. So uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I had a couple of stops. You could probably do it in three and a half hours if you really put your mind to it. So it's a decent sort of half day out. Uh, for me, I've got a near 200 mile drive back home again now. So um, yeah, if you've stayed this long, uh, well done. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'm going to push off now and I'll see you next time. Cheerio.